YouTube friends. I'm excited you're here. We're going to do the narwhal. Okay, so laugh with me, draw with me, and let's have some fun, all right? So check out my hippo. I just did the easy hippo video. Check him out, and I hope you've been able to draw the kitty cat with me. That one's so fun and easy, right? And, oh goodness, we've got the gorilla. And he's on the YouTube. My flower, I don't think I've done the flower on YouTube. Or Mr. Mole, he's a cutie patootie. And the goat, I hope that you've been able to do the billy goat. And I have created a scene for all these creatures to be in the ocean together. See here, I, I'm even in the picture. Look at me, I'm swimming away. So um, my narwhal has not made it onto one of my scenes yet, but I'm pretty sure with your imagination, you could come up with something amazing. So go ahead, hit that like button for me. Help me out a little. Um, don't get paid anything to do this, but I do want to be visible on that YouTube channel for all to draw with me. So hit that like button. Um, definitely hit the share button and share it with your friends. Let them know how easy and fun these things are. So grab your pencil, grab your stomp, grab your favorite eraser. Um, sometimes I just even want to draw with a regular number two HB. So if you don't have anything special, I just um, recommend the white erasers. They, they leave less uh, on your paper and you're more pleased with the outcome of what you're drawing. That's important. It builds your confidence when you like what you're drawing and like what you see. Um, so let's come up with some exciting ideas and let's draw, draw, draw together. Uh, let me figure out where to put all my stuff. I have my pencil. Do you have your pencil? Say check. Got it. Let's go. So draw real loose, real light. When I say real loose, real light, that means uh, my pencil's gliding over the paper. I'm not cutting into the paper with my pencil. All right. Don't cut into the pen uh, the paper by pushing too hard. And try to draw um, bigger than you normally do. And if you're a large drawer, then kind of go smaller. Uh, challenge yourself to do something new. So for the head, we're gonna we're gonna have our guide shape here. Um, we're gonna block in the shape of this um, narwhal. I promise I'm not gonna call him a manatee again. I'm gonna call him a narwhal. And we're gonna build this guy. So from the top in the middle, right here, I'm gonna make a slope and come down just a little bit. Eyeball it, okay? Make make your eyes work for you here. So from the bottom, I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna slope and go right about there. I'm going to see if I like that shape. If I like that shape, go ahead and erase the circle um, that's inside of the of the narwhal. See, you were you were thinking I was going to say manatee. Ha ha. I didn't. I didn't. My brain is working just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look, but there is a manatee. A manatee appearance. I really want to sing that song from from uh that cartoon kids. Oh, I must ask you a question. Did you hit the like button yet? Like, like, like. Come on, you can like it. Okay, I'm back to work here. So let's decide where we want this tooth of this manatee. We're going to do one tooth. Yeah, that horn thing is a tooth. My girls have described it to me. I'm going to put two dots right here. Those are my guide dots. And that's where I'm going to put the contour line, look at me, I'm doing a contour line, that means curved, from one dot to the other. And I like to turn my page. It is not anchored down at my office, so I'm going to turn it and I'm going to decide I want it to come out to this, this far. So my guide dots really help. Okay, that's not cheating, that is being smart. So I'm going to draw from that dot to that dot. See, you never thought dot to dots would, would come into play when you're drawing your narwhal and like that and I didn't draw really sharp straight lines and I drew real light real loose so I don't cut into the paper I'm gonna erase that dot out there because it's just too bold for that end and I'm gonna round off the end he's not a sharp um, mean narwhal he's a really awesome narwhal so from there I'm gonna come down I'm gonna start at the um, bottom part of that that narwhal tooth and I'm going to make the lips so I'm going to curve it up 
and then back down and kind of smile with it. But I don't know where the eye is yet, so I'm going to just leave that alone, okay? So let's look from here. Let's go back, do a contour line. We're just going to do that little hump right there for the bottom of the eye. And we're going to give him a big eye today. We're not going to do those little bitty eyes. We're going to do a big eye. And then inside the eye, I'm going to draw an oval right there. Nice, you did good. Then I'm going to do a reflective dot. I want mine up a little because I don't know what, really what he's looking at. I haven't decided a scene for him yet. Love to see your creativity. I have to tell you, my daughters gave me some ideas. I'm trying to find the paper. It was right here. Um, of their imagination. You know, the different things. She's got this whole scene going where the turtles, uh, the police turtles are coming to get the shark that's stealing the loot out of the treasure box and woke the octopus off the floor. And then the superhero fish is coming to save the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, how awesome is that? So use your imagination. You build your own stories. That is super, super awesome when you can create your own cartoons on your paper. So I'm going to take the bottom lip. Notice I did not go to that line, that our guide line, okay? I kind of went in a little. Give the illusion of depth right there. That's what, that's what 3D is. That's what we're learning, okay? So down from the eye, I'm going to drop down to the end of that corner, and that is where I'm going to put the back fin. I'm going to do two contour lines, uh, curve one toward the other, and have them tip at the end. You got that going? I need to erase just a little more. I like to keep it clean when I'm drawing, so I'm going to just clean that up right there. Good, good, good. And I've got my handy-dandy dusting brush. You might find this somewhere uh, in the drafting section. Uh, you really want to get into drawing and have really fun tools. I love to have fun tools when I'm drawing. So the back uh, fin, dorsal fin, is that what dorsal fin, um, is further back and it's smaller. Give that illusion of depth. Then we're going to come out to the end back here. So we're going to swoop up and we're going to kind of come at the same place and then we're going to curve out and we're going to curve out. Those are going to be our um, infant, our dorsal. Goodness, I just lost lost all the fin names in my head. I had them. Now they're gone. Oh my goodness. That's just terrible when that happens. Don't get old. It's not fun. Just kidding. It is fun. Not when you forget things, though. Okay, so that's how to do the, the, the back fins. We'll just call them their flippers. So this guy... He doesn't have a, a pectoral fin, the top fin. I am so confused now. I had them all in my head, and I just lost it. So you know what they are. We're going to draw um, contour lines on our horn. I call it a horn, but it's a tooth. I know it's a tooth. We'll just call it a tooth. So go ahead, curve, and bring down and darken these lines in. You should feel your pencil lead cutting into the paper. Um, curve those lines, give it the illusion that it's a round um, horn object, not just a flat. And then I'm going to put some crease lines like it's really on that face, okay? That's super, super cool. Now I want my eye to be a little darker, so I'm going to go ahead and darken that in, um, darken in the outside of the eye. And this guy needs some texture, so I think some circles, weird shapes, and if you have a stomp or a q-tip or your pinky, um, you can give more texture to your guy uh, with some uh, graphite, you know, when you're blending. So let's get some action lines in here. And some air bubbles. Let's do some air bubbles back here. Bloop, 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 right? That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Now let's give him some belly color. Um, I watched um, Elf. Remember the Elf movie? If you've seen Elf, you know what a narwhal is. I think that's the only place I've seen a narwhal. So if you know of anything else, let me know so I can educate myself on narwhals. Now I'm going to turn my, my paper because I don't like drawing upside down. 
Now if you want to grab your colored pencils and your markers, now's the time when you color them in. You can do that. I don't per particularly like uh, you drawing with pencil, I mean a sharpie. Um, underneath, I had to grab my pencil, that's why I had pencil on my head. Uh, underneath the lip, start shading that in, get a thicker line. Let's give him a little smile curve right there. I'm going to shade just a little bit behind. Uh, well, not really behind. You can't see back there. Just the lip and around under the lip, on the chin. Because we've, we've uh, made it clear that our light source is usually over here on the right. So anything on the left or underneath needs to have a little bit of a shadow. Okay, a little shading. Now, I'm going to take my stomp. It's fully loaded with graphite. You don't have one of these. These are really awesome. I love the number three. Here we go, upside down. The number three, all this thing is, is um, pressed paper. So you can find these at your local craft store. You can buy them online and different craft um, websites. I enjoy going to craft stores, so I just pick up different type so I'm a collector of all things stomps okay so start blending your your creature now on the body I like to go in a circular motion I like to give him more texture because I've only seen the the you know the elf narwhal so I'm just gonna go in little circles all down his body why not do the whole body that would be really cute let's give this guy some texture give our eye something to look at right Give our eye something to feel, even. Now, under the eye, I wanted a little, little bit more of a, of a shadow down, a shading down there. So let's add a little bit more, and a little bit more graphite around the nose, around the tooth. Excuse me, I hear all my students saying, "That's not a nose; it's a tooth. It's not a unicorn." But okay to each his own right okay so there you go guys you did it how awesome let me just add a little shadow oh, I mean a little shading right here and then a little shadow underneath them I don't think I have enough graphite on my stomp so I'm just gonna add a little cast shadow down here on the ground give a little a little bit of graphite I'm gonna blend that because he's just he's just in that really cold water with a little bit of sunlight peeking through that ice right there that is so cute well thanks for drawing and I hope that you've shared this um, today with your friends with your family I hope you're drawing and drawing and drawing over all these uh, summer breaks and school breaks and you check out my website artwithallbright.com but I must ask you a question what are you gonna draw next okay draw 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 friends